as you can see, we are sitting in a brand new U. But why? Max about to start a brand new build, brand new project, if you will. Shoot. Well, it's a brand new build since it's a brand new car and you can't buy them from factory built, can you? No. So <laughs> <laughs> stick around to the end of this episode. One of you guys is gonna win this. There's also another couple prizes up for grabs. Yeah, hit the test track, mate. Maybe we'll actually do the easy track this time, but we never seen these. Yeah, time. no one's probably seen the easy track because <laughs> we don't bother with it. Yeah, you're good. For about a meter, you're good. I've got a front camera. What do you reckon? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna go fine, that. <laughs> no. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna run this series exactly like we did the Hilux. Test the car factory, build the car, and then retest the car and see what it's capable of after all the mods. We are about to hit this test track <laughs> in a very expensive brand new vehicle. First, I'm gonna show you exactly what's going on with the whole situation. Let's get stuck into it. I promise I'll treat it nice-ish. Nicer oh. than I treat my house deposit. <laughs> You guys absolutely love the N80 build and giveaway. This is one of the best ways you guys can help support the channel and win yourself a bloody car. A bloody car. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into that right now, show you what's going on. And oh, I'm excited just to build a new Ranger. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to show you first prize because there's a lot to go through here. There's a lot of car here, like a lot of car. Oh. Look, my phone's charging wirelessly. You don't. My goodness, what an opportunity. Wall track badge. Yes, it is. It oh. even feels like one. First prize. See ya, it's finally here. <laughs> I ordered this thing. Over a year ago. Over a year ago. Little did I know, by ordering a premium pack, they're like a two year wait. So, it was meant to be here in June. Hey, we're here now and you can win it in time for Christmas. Woo -woo. We're just gonna get stuck into some of the cool features because this is not your normal Ranger. I reckon all wild track owners would show off is this. Oh, stop it. That is a big dick move. Oh yeah. <laughs> Central locking tailgate. So when that's shut and that's shut, no one's stealing your fridge or your kids if you got them in there. That is actually really cool. It is real. Comes with a tow bar factory like you don't have to add it on and pay zillion dollars extra it's yeah. there you buy a 79 top of the range gxl you've still got to buy a tow bar there's a lot of stuff you've got to buy for it's a lot of stuff. there's like a hundred cameras on this thing like you can see the little blind spot radar logo when you got a trailer on you set the length of your trailer and it moves the blind spot monitoring to allow for your trailer no as well way. that's yeah that's fair thing. wild these are just designed to tow. They're crazy. Woo! I love leather. I miss so leather. Obviously the world gets the uh, premium interior. Oh man. I mean, I can't leave anything stock, but if I was going to leave a car stock, <laughs> this would be it. Like, <laughs> it's so friggin' nice. Standout features is the massive screen here. Yeah. Wireless CarPlay. It's got a digital screen here now, not the old analog crazy looking thingy with bobbies. I mean, there's a million things we will not be able to list off all the cool stuff here um, by any means in this video. No, no. I, I noticed the other night, guys, when we were driving it, there's all this like interior mood lighting in the doors and everything. All of that, there's a fish tank in here. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's got all wheel drive for when it's wet and things, four high, four low. It's got all these fancy bloody buttons and all you really need is to put your diff lock on. Oh, you can do that through the screen, put your rear I diff saw, lock on. Yeah. Built-in brake controller. You don't even have to add electric brake controller. It's already there. No way. Switch panel oh, on the roof. Switch panel on the roof, which I'll be wiring some things to, which you'll see in coming episodes. There, four of them are pre-wired to the engine bay, two are pre-wired to the rear end of the car. Ooh. I actually haven't even seen under here. Oh, I see. But, where are we talking, the V6 one? Oh, bonnet struts, we might need to sort that out. I still haven't even done my cruise. <laughs> there is a, actually a lot of, they could have put a V8 in here. Look at all this gap. This is a V6 turbo diesel. It hammers, it's got heaps of grunt, heaps of torque. I won't be tuning it. I won't get a tune done. I'm sure there's remaps. I'm sure Shane can do remaps on these bad boys from Project, but I just want to keep the new car warranty for whoever wins this bad boy. So I'm not touching the tune, but to be honest, it's got so much grunt as it is from factory. So I'm very impressed with it. 
so I don't get it wrong, Mac, what is it exactly? What is it exactly? The model, the exact model is? The exact model is 2023.5, so it's- Of a new, so end of the year. End of the year, <laughs> the latest one, they've fixed a lot of bugs. Ford Ranger Wild Track Premium Pack. You're not gonna believe this. Second prize. <laughs> Oh, it's so it's so second prize. Yeah, well it is. Have a go at this thing. So this is a Maverick, Maverick off -road. Hornet off-road camper. A little light. Bloody got individual suspension. It's got four shocks on it. What do you call that independent suspension? In, in, what did I call it? <laughs> individual, I've never heard individual, of it. Individual, I'm excited about it. I really want to. He just wants to try out a trailer. I, I really want to try out a camper, so <laughs> what better excuse? Oh, is this the chin, mate? Oh, this is the bit I'm most excited about. Ready? Keeps going. Keeps going. Yeah. And then, oh, ah. storage in there too. Oh, stop it. Table, this is a chopping board, but also gas, gas cooker. Oh, no. Got the sink. I don't have water in there, but it's got a massive water tank and water pump. I haven't used it yet. This is my, this is my first day. <laughs> it's actually my first camp. I've never had a camper. Everyone knows I'm the most unprepared camper there is. There's just so many doors. And I end up in an Airbnb. There's a lot of doors. It's more storage down there, more storage up here. That's pretty cool. The table thing. Table thing. Got, oh, speakers. oh, there's a speaker. There's more storage in here. Yeah, this is where your fridge goes. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, there's power there for the fridge and spare power. So that's the fridge. We've got wheel chalk, we've got wheel things. There's lots of things and stuff. There's a toilet. You're shitting me. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> You're joking. What's behind door number six? <laughs> Oh. We got two lithium battery Light things. Up, baby. Oh, power, fridge, socket, light, media, pump. Oh, we don't need the pump on. Stereo, baby. Stereo, speaker each side in case you don't know which side you want to party on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have that problem all the time. <laughs> Drawers, there's the water pump down there. Oh. See that? Just press a button and it turns off. You're joking. And more, <laughs> more story. Oh, you can see straight through now. Oh, cool. I don't know what goes in here yet. Um, oh yeah, this is probably a good spot for tools and things. Handbrake. Oh, yeah. Just a normal safety. Just for handbrakeies. Oh, look at this head thing. Extreme, <laughs> Extreme off-road head thing. <laughs> Electric brakes, 12 volt. Cage on top. We're gonna put the Outback Tour uh, rooftop tent on top of that. Yeah, so, so getting into the mods, we're gonna mod it a little bit, you reckon? Yeah, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put Shed Life Touch on it. Is Mac are gonna do to this? What am I gonna do to it? Yeah, what mods am I gonna do? to the trailer. It should be kind of obvious. Yeah, yeah, I've got a bit of a style now, so. <laughs> right, let's see how many people guess that. All right, well that's a nice little run through of the prize as it is now, but it's gonna get better. Oh yeah. What do you think? So I know you don't like towing things. Well, straight away, yeah. Don't like towing stuff. So let's just say you got a mate who does like towing stuff. It's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it is pretty cool. So it's basically, from what I can tell, like a little canopy that you tow. Yeah. It's like my canopy. Obviously way more room, carry way more stuff. Well, it's an off-road trailer, it needs to go off-road, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like it can go upside down with that hitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, the hitch goes upside test, down. Probably test it does go upside down. <laughs> Did someone say King Chrome? <laughs> There's over $10,000 worth of tools here. But this is really gonna make someone's day. Every tool full of draw tools. Every every drawer full of tools. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the Ranger with this tool kit to show what you could do with it. Minus power tools, so I'm gonna use my own power tools. Every other spanner, socket, rivet set, buddy. Oh, there's just so much stuff. There's, oh yes, yeah, a lot more than just that box. There's a whole pallet in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're gonna start putting it together anyway. I wonder if they could swap mine for a black one. <laughs> no, I like the blue. Blue, Con it looks good. Yeah, it matches the K truck. And oh. ah. Like you've seen, brand new car, no secondhand business going on here, full warranty. I uh, saw it with my own eyes, guys. He's signing <laughs> the dotted line in a Ford dealership. Brand new car smell everywhere in there. Probably the scariest moment of my life <laughs> is right this second as you're watching this video. <laughs> I thought the first one was exciting but this one's really exciting. Yeah, it's not really a secret plan like the first one no. was. But I did explain in the first N80 build, if you haven't watched it, this is a way to support the channel because we all know I love building cars. Also, I'm gonna build a camper. So I'm a little excited about that. With like, these tools. 
with these tools that you could win. So you could win the camper, <laughs> the car, all this. Oh my God, it's King Chrome goodness. It probably won't have a 10 mil in it though. When you get no, it. all the 10 mils will be gone. How do you enter this competition? How do you enter? Any shirt? From shedlife.co. Shedlife.co or sticker pack is an entry. You buy 10 shirts, 10 entries. But, but you can win three things off the one entry. That's three chances from one shirt to win this, this will the camper. Oh, hello. Uh, look who we've got here. Look who's joined us. So she's going to be part of the uh, trips that we're going to do in this. Yeah, trip. we've got the camper. It's going to make life a lot easier with this little one with all the stuff we've got to carry around. So, so our plan is, or Mark is going to do the build and then we're going to show you what's, well, what it's capable of. What it's capable of. I'm excited to see what a factory yeah. car can do. Oh, same, let's go. Let's go bend it to the sidestep again. <laughs> yeah, I can see that going straight away. <laughs> So this is TJ's favorite, this one. Yeah. Plenty of new designs. There's, I think like six new designs. Uh, this is actually my favorite, this one. Oh, hoodies this time too. Yeah, with, uh, hoodies are two entries. Oh. Yes, oh, so I just forgot to mention that. Forgot Sticker pack and shirt, one entry each. Hoodie are two entries each. Wow, well, makes sense. Any shirt and any hoodie and any sticker pack. There's only one sticker pack. Put you uh, in the drawer to win one of these items. One of them. <laughs> yes, that's one thing. You can't win all three. So if you've won one, and you get drawn again, <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna get the one you were drawn first. I like this one. 2014 was the first time we ever wrote Shed Life in uh, episode. That's pretty cool. So I, I sentimental value this shirt, uh, this, this style. It's also on a shirt, not just hoodies. Let's get test this thing. No, oh, let's go get it. <laughs> let's, go, let's go have fun. It, it's okay guys, it's it's like the house deposit. If I break it, I'll fix it, it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, it's still gonna be 100% car. Uh, it's not looking great. Uh, maybe we'll try a bit of an angle, eh? Might pick another line, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so here, you kind of flex through here and uh, come up on the angle. It's probably about a meter there, hang on. Hey okay, guys, this is about as easy as it gets. I'm gonna get Mark at a hit passenger tire right here. I'm just gonna flex up a little bit. We get a, a mild incline, maybe about a metre. It's a little step at the top, so should be a nice little beginning test. Okay, this is eco, toe haul, no. Slippery, no. Mud and ruts. Okay, so it's just shifted me into four high, and it's also locked the rear diff. Some poor drive modes here to deal with. So, you, you adjust drive mode here, and it comes up here. So we got toe, slippery, which is puts it in all wheel drive, mud and ruts, and sand. So I'm thinking mud and ruts. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you just hit four high with all diff lock? Oh, I could, but there's, where's the fun in that? Oh, okay. So if I go mud and ruts, it locks the rear diff for me oh, and puts right. it in four high. But then I can go four low from there, I'm assuming. Uh, oh, let's give low a go, okay. Neutral, four low, shifting in progress. Oh. And we're in four low. Four low, rear diff lock. Let's well, get. this is as capable as it gets. <laughs> yeah, um, and I'm going to hit some angles. So go slow and I'll let you know if you're going to hit a bar. Oh, we got a real wheel lift already. Do ya? Yeah. Slow. <laughs> I just feel the car rocking. You know what touches, it's just mud flaps. Right in. Yep. And then. Yeah, good. You're basically up. Yeehoo! Drive as well, and you might have to give her a bump. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, too easy. The old, uh, the old road tires don't grip quite like the muddies do. They? <laughs> no, they don't. It's fun. It was very smooth. It was very. Oh, I, I noticed. I was just driving it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was extremely smooth. Yeah, we bought the cruiser just in case anything <laughs> goes bad. And uh, coming up to a few ruts, we got some roots. Oh, Jesus. Yep, I hit route one, route two, bump on the left. And oh, actually, this could get a little hey, going up here. I'm not going to lie. Getting out of this is quite the cross rut. So I put up a little Instagram, my Hilux flex in here. This is certainly going to lift a wheel. <laughs> Oh, there's like an inclinator. <laughs> You're diagonal. <laughs> I got two wheels off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's hilarious. But it's still driving through it because of the traction. It's pretty good. Yeah, that's where the lock is just so good, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Wait, there's like an ink, there's inclinated things that tells you what angle you're on. It is pretty cool. It tells you like that way and that way. Inclinated. I saw it uh, 13 degrees to the uh, right. Yeah. Is that the number to beat then? Yeah, we got to beat 13. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't look at the other one, but we're at six at the moment. But I reckon we beat that at the start. <laughs> gonna need, oh, we're gonna need some bash plates. We're gonna need some bash plates. Have a look at the ruts, I've bellied out twice. <laughs> so obviously guys, no bash plates, no sliders. I can't go too wild, but we're definitely gonna oh. untest it to its limits. I think this is about the limit or the Hilux. Don't know if our front bar on this Ranger will allow him to get up here. It's, this step is about a metre. And then that's the big step over there to just high up on the roof of the car. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's slow. Yep, you're about to start coming up. You may slip to the left. You're good. <laughs> there goes the sidestep. So he's got to try and straddle this, stick to the waterline when you don't have much wheel travel. This rock here tends to get the sidestep, so. Look at this state of the art machine. Oh no. So it tells you where your wheels are going to go. Yeah, so what's the arm? And I can see like, the down low of the track. Yeah, because I'm wondering how you can tell where your bumper is as well as I can. That's because mm. you can see straight down. Yeah, I can sort of see, you can even sort of see the front of the bar there. What's the inclinator at the moment? Currently at six degrees to the left side and four degrees pointing up. <laughs> I'll just tell you to stop if I think you're gonna do some damage, but you just drive it how you, okay. how you think, because you've got all the tech. All the gear and no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it, right hand down a bit, yep. Yep. Right hand, yep, oh stop. Are oh, you good, just checking this rock. Yeah, I think you got this, side step. <laughs> stop That's exactly what the Hilux did. <laughs> Oh, sidestep. <laughs> right, this is why factory sidestep's no good off-road. It'll just break it. Oh, it's definitely gonna break. Are you saying Hilux sidesteps are stronger? No, it broke even easier. Oh. Or maybe you just hit it harder. <laughs> yep, you're good. Now, left hand down all the way. So yep, what? that's enough, sorry. That'll we do got it. 14 degrees. Go back a tad. Oh, slow, it's gonna still do it. Back. <laughs> I'm gonna try another line. Totally different line. And hopefully it gets both wheels up at the same time so we're not bellying on that rock. Can't see much from here. Oh, maybe. If you don't belly, you might have that. Oh, that's not slow. <laughs> yeah, that's the situation, guys. <laughs> Think I'll drive through it? No, no. Nah. Yeah. If you get stuck on that, you're getting dragged all the way up. Okay. So back. Yeah, so you're about to come up on your driver. That's both up. Oi. You're in a bit of a situation there, mate. Let's not worry about this, so let's just go do the hard one. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, well, we're yeah. Just stuffing around here. Oh, he's... You good? Keep going. Oh, so close. <laughs> I've never struggled so hard to get up an easy track. Well, yeah, it's, it's quite a long wheelbase and it's not very high. About there. Do you want to bump it? Got 100 mil. Go left hand down. Tell you what, the steering is amazing. 
Slowly, no, don't bump that, just crawl it. Right? There yeah! We're through. Oh, that was easy. That was some great spotting, TJ. <laughs> well done. Man, the steering on this is... Oh, so light, you don't know where the wheel so, is. So, so light. Yeah, you don't even know where your wheel is because it's like, it's just crazy light. <laughs> Early damage report. <laughs> <laughs> One day of owning a Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, you know this. This is this is the test track. This is the step where you are. Actually, are you approach angle? You That's actually surprising. Slow, 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 slow. That's touching. Yeah. You're about to start going up, but if you have to come back down, it's just gonna rip that that wind thing. So probably not worth trying this one. Well. That's not going to work, is it? No. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, but you definitely need a lift here, don't you? Oh, yeah. Lift and bigger wheels, I think. And uh, sliders and bash plates. And sliders and bash plates. And a radio, so we can actually talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty safe to say the range is tapped out on this. Although it the wild track loves to hit the wild tracks. <laughs> it's just not quite capable yet. Important, I was just saying to everyone, they're very big tyres, very flexy, reduction gears. They're very capable vehicles. Yeah. And um, they make this sort of stuff look. You know, let's just show them some juicy shots of the Hilux and Cruiser walking up this. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I think even the Nav did. <laughs> yeah, actually the Nav, no, I had the Superior kit in and twin locked. Yeah, that's what I mean, like capable vehicles. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. No, well it's factory, so. Yeah, yeah, Vers yeah. factory. So. That's the, um, for crack yeah, later. so that's the whole idea of this guy, show you before and after. Whoa. Time for a, a three, four inch lift potentially. Yeah, we kind of have to now because we bent the step. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might remember the, uh, my first Ranger when I did my very, very first four inch lift. <laughs> yeah. 90 mil. That's like 100, that's like five inch lift just by taking this off. <laughs> You're joking. Little tip for young players, if you're down on your last dollar, just put a little cable tie on the end, zip her up real tight, cut her off, boom. Get another 20,000 Ks out of these. <laughs> right. Well, every tool you need to do it's probably in there, mate. Oh, it's in the pack. <sighs> Look, I really, I really, really was gonna, like really wanted to use it to build the Ranger, but it's just so nice and shiny and new and I just want whoever wins it to experience that. So <laughs> it's the same stuff that's in there. It's just in here. I'll use mine. I'll stop, stop being uh, spoilt and try to use the new ones. <laughs> oh, nearly off, mate. Oh. There we go. Hey, TJ, catch. It's right in the racking yard, mate. Oh, no, sweet. Let's go. <laughs> you with the rest of the crap. Oh, I'll be bumper. There we go. Good as new, pretty much a trampoline. Off-road one, one time and you're already working on it. Like my number one rule is bring it in clean, like mechanics, and I've just broken that rule. <laughs> and I've already got dirt in my eye. Oh, oh that looks bloody heaps better, doesn't it? There's only one bracket left holding that step on. And even that is about to break off. Range of side steps for sale. <laughs> I've only ever been to the shops and back. <laughs> it's enough help from me, you'd get the rest of the build done, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, mate, I'll, I'll get right onto that. We've got all sorts of sneaky little surprises coming Plenty in. Plenty of Leave stuff Leave a comment coming. down below if you have some really cool idea. Obviously, we've got a little bit of time. This build's pretty much being done in real time. Let us know what you want to see go on it. Oi, TJ. Here, mate, catch. Oh, shit. You all right, mate? Oh. <laughs> 